This is a basic overview of the Instant Presenter interface for new users. Here's the My Meetings Rooms page, the very first screen you'll see upon logging in. Here's the name of your meeting room, a URL to hand out to your attendees. Here's the Edit Settings button where you can change the name of the meeting, set a password, and other options. You can upload your very first PowerPoint slides here. You can schedule upcoming meetings and send invites to attendees at this button. Up here you can create new meeting rooms should you want more than one. Here you can view your recordings and change their options and settings. Here's your content library where you can upload any other PowerPoint files, movie clips, audio clips, and so on. These two buttons will take you to the meeting manager where you can view and edit settings for meetings that you've scheduled and past meetings. And the branding button will let you customize the look of your meetings including coloration and adding a backdrop. Down here you can add our screen sharing or high quality video plugins should you plan on using them and have a link down here to our system test. When ready to start a meeting, just click this button here. And this will open up a live meeting. First thing you'll see is this prompt here asking you whether you'd like to start your session. If you don't yet want to start, you can always click the Start Session button over there on the left-hand side later. Up here is your nameplate, where you can see your volume fluctuate. And these buttons will let you mute and unmute the video and sound. The Stop Broadcast button will stop broadcasting if you're broadcasting, and start if you're not. This button here will allow everyone to broadcast if you want everyone to have that chance. The In Session button will officially end the meeting and the Record button will let you record. And the Settings button will allow you to lock the room and add overages. Down here is the Attendee window. In the Attendee window, you can see all of your attendees. If you left click on one, you'll have various options on how to interact with them. Click, you can disconnect them, uh, promote them to a presenter, and so on. And if you wouldn't like attendees to see the entire attendee list, you can click that there for making it private. Down here is the chat box, works just like a standard internet chat room, and over here you can decide who you're sending that message to. And clicking here will enable question and answer mode, which works like a ticketing system for the presenter, uh, just an option that instead of using the chat mode there. Clicking left and right here will change the slides. Clicking here will bring up a small slide that only the presenter can see, and you can skip directly to certain slides via that interface like so. Clicking here will allow you to access any files you've put into your content library, as well as our whiteboard and pointer tools. Up here at the top are tabs for our screen sharing mode. Clicking here will go into screen sharing mode if you've installed that plugin that I showed you. And here's the polls tab, which allows you to make an interactive poll with your audience. You can type in the topic for the poll, various answers, and when you're ready, just click begin voting. And up here at the top of the screen, you can find some option menus, which are exactly the same as the option menus that you can find in the individual panels down below. These option menus have various setup wizards, settings, and features, so feel free to go to explore these when you have a chance. Over here on the upper right-hand side of the slide, you're going to see our Maximize button, which makes it in the entire screen. And if we renew, we can go back. And if I click Lock View first, whatever I decide to do, Maximize or the normal interface is pushed to your entire audience. And that's it for our new user overview. For more information on any of these, feel free to visit our support site at support.instantpresenter.com. Have a great day.